Hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video we will be looking at halogen GU10 bulbs and the LED replacements. First I think we'll do is we'll turn on the halogen lamps and then later on I'll show you the wattage that they are using on the power meter and then we'll change them to the LEDs. Now I'm using the latest generation LED lamps and these are roughly the equivalent brightness. It's took a few years for LED lamps to get anywhere near the 50 watt brightness and the reliability. The first LED lights were appalling and over the years they've got more reliable. There was also a short time while they used CFLs as well, but for this video I'm just doing the original 50 watt halogen light capsule bulb and the LED replacement. So first I think what we'll do is we'll turn them on in three, one, two, three. And of course, halogen capsule bulbs rely on the reflectors to uh, put out the light. And with the, the setup I've got, you can see the reflector and the lamps working quite well. At the moment we are pulling 146 watts. Uh, I have tested these bulbs and one of them is a little over 50, one of them is around 48 and the other one is around 46 watts. So what we'll do is I'll pause the video for a short minute and we'll look at the energy meter and see what power and wattage these lights are using. All right, as I said, uh, this is the power meter. We are currently using between a 144.3 and 146 watts. The time at the top is the time that this power meter has been running and it is now roughly 14 days six hours and 31 minutes the figure at the bottom is the price in kilowatts which is 40 pounds and 72 pence so we'll flick on to the next one so there we go 14 days at the bottom and 78.32 kilowatt hours today's electricity is slightly over 240 at 241.0, 50 hertz. The amps of these three halogen lamps is 0 0.6 amps and it has a power factor of around one or 0 0.99. What I'm now going to do, I'm going to do um, the LED equivalent. So I'm just going to pause while I change the lights. So here we are now with three LED equivalent um, spotlight bulbs. GU10s and what we are pulling now is only 14.9 watts to 14.6 power has dropped slightly to 240.5 but it's creeping back up again The amps is now 0.1 with a power factor 
of around 60. Dropping and then rising back up again. Probably the way that these lights are run inside. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to show the information on both of the lights. The first, the halogen capsule bulbs, the LED. I'm also going to show you the connections on the end, which some people think are like starters. However, the starter terminals are a different size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in front of the light and then we'll compare the different types of lamp. Of course the main difference between an LED light and a capsule and the old halogen capsule lights is of course is that LED lights do not get hot. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the information on these first. See if we can read this. We've got the old CE, some other little logos, and then at here, if I get the focus in the right place, hopefully. 220, 240, 50, 60 hertz, 400 lumen, 5 watts, and then a 80 kw i think that says i'll write this all down in the links in the link below led with a number gu10 27000k made in china ikea of sweden and a little bit more and then of course they do not put in the bin sign because these plastics are harder to recycle than the original glass ones Put that there. Now, these LED light, uh, halogen lights are still red hot. So I'm just going to pause just for one more second while I get hold of one of them. I can't really say the um, the name of these lamps. I think it's F U U I N G. But I will put it in the comments below. But these are GU10 240 50 watts. And we have some other little symbols underneath, which I'll also write down. Again, the CE mark. These things are, this bulb is still very hot. Now we do the comparison between a starter. This is a starter connector and this is a GU10 connector and you can see that they are slightly closer together on the GU10s and then when I turn it this way they are the GU10s have a thicker part that connects onto the terminal probably due to the Halogens needed a lot better connection when more power was put through them. The starters are smaller and slightly further apart. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the halogen bulb in with this LED. We'll line them both up together. And what we'll do is we'll turn them on one last time. So on three, one, two, three. Now to my eye, these look exactly the same. 
the only difference is, as you can see in the camera, is the LEDs are coming out in a solid circle in the center of the light and the halogen capsule light is relying on the reflector. The halogen light appears slightly flickery in the camera but in real life there's no flicker at all. What I'll do is I'll quickly show you the lamps close up. The capsule bulb, the reflector, and of course the halogen lamp in the center. These are now banned in Europe. You can still buy them on eBay, uh, but the brands are getting more and more unknown. And if you want dimmable lights, you can get dimmable LEDs now. And the wattage difference and power saving, money saving is enormous. So it's better to use LEDs now. This LED capsule has like five LEDs in the middle and a, an interesting reflector design which transfers all the light out. And these are, I think, some of the best ones that I've ever got. So I'd like to say thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon, goodbye.